man talk about a heavyweight title fight on wild card weekend the finale of wild card weekend the san francisco 49ers against the green bay last minute winning in chicago packers does that sound good i hope it does it's the wc here with the breakdown the prediction of this game wild card weekend going you know, just going uh, comparison with QBs real quick, just jumping right into this. You know, Kaepernick is, you know, he's got a rocket arm. This guy can run just as fast as RG3. This guy has the vision. He has the know-how and all that stuff. With all that said, all that to the side, Aaron Rodgers is one of the most elite players in the game. And he has to get the check mark in this comparison. All right. Just like New Orleans with the video I did a little bit earlier that y'all probably see, you know, just like with Drew Brees, this guy is cold blooded, and I wouldn't want—I wouldn't want to see this guy in the playoffs at all. He's just one of those people. I just one game, and I have to go home or, or, or stay, and I have to go against this guy. I don't want no part of him. I just don't. Now going into defense, man. Sandy, uh, not San Diego, but San Francisco just has the advantage in this. This just no question. You know what I'm saying? There's just no question. The Packers have, you know, injuries on defense. A couple starters out. You know, Patrick Willis just on down line to just, you know, man, I, I just can't, I just can't tell you how good of a defense San Francisco has. You know, uh, it's, it's like I'm, I'm sitting over here like I'm, you know, I'm looking through the the whole matchup of these teams. I'm like, if there's anything that can completely su surprise everybody in this game, it would probably be su special teams. And, you know, just looking on both sides of it, I'm not really seeing too many difference makers on special teams right now. I mean, you could say Randall Cobb could come out and return a kick, but, you know, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not saying that, that that special teams is not going to make a difference in this game, but I think that the defense is basically going to be where this team, where this game is going to be won or lost. The key matchup in this game has got to be Aaron Rodgers versus that San Francisco defense all day every day whoever wins that matchup wins the game i think that that's probably the best you know breakdown that i could give out of all the games that i've done this weekend all four of them is that now if san francisco wins this game i think that they, their defense forces at least two turnovers i think that you know kaepernick and um the san francisco offense will put up you know basically be able to methodically move down the field with frank gore look for frank gore to get a couple of good dozen carries you know in that cold weather up there in green bay don't know if it's going to snow don't know if it's going to rain we don't know i don't live in green bay all right watch this video i don't know it's a couple days in advance I, I don't know i'm not watching the forecast get out of my face all right and if you know green bay wins this game like i said i, I hate to keep harping on Aaron, you know aaron Rodgers. he came back last week he showed why he's uh, one of the most best players in the league and you know if, if green bay wins this game Aaron Rodgers goes off. Now, I'm not saying that Eddie Lacy can't make a difference, but this is playoff time. And QB play in playoff time is everything. It's paramount. So, you know, I'm looking for if, if Green Bay wins this game, Aaron Rodgers has at least three touchdowns, maybe close to about 250 yards. I don't think you have to do too much throwing, too much passing and all for this team to win the game. They can do time management, too. It's like I'm expecting for San Francisco to do in this game. If they get up and they get a lead, and that's basically it for right there but as far as who i think wins this game all right because like i said this is this this is probably going to be one of the best games of the weekend just along same thing along with new orleans and philly um just looking at it i'm looking for you know green bay to come out on top it's just something about you know these guys just like last week against you know san francisco, uh, san francisco against the um the Bears in that last minute win. It's just something about that. It just carries over into the playoffs. Same thing with San Diego. Just the carryover effect. And, 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 and San Francisco has known that they've been in for a couple weeks now. So I'm not saying that they're going to be going into Green Bay flat footed. But hey who knows man. You know clearly the best. The better overall team is San Francisco. But as the playoffs go. Alright. As the playoffs go. It's not always the best team that wins. It's the more prepared team that wins. The more battle-tested team that wins. I'm telling you, it's the playoff times. 
it's the end of wild card weekend at least on my at least on my end it's the end of wild card weekend i ain't got no more predictions for you guys enjoy the games this weekend just like i'm about to enjoy the games this weekend whoever win who win i think that green bay is going to win it so i'll just go through and run through my picks over the last four videos including this one green bay san diego New Orleans and Kansas City. So I basically got one home team winning wild card weekend. <laughs> in actuality, it might be two. So you guys look out for that. It's the WC. I'll be back next week with the divisional round of games. Breaking those games down. I stay.